Ti 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 Hi folks. Hey. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I've been away a bit, haven't I? I haven't been here much this last few weeks. We've got a little bit um, preoccupied with ripping out the kitchen floor and having a wood floor laid and friends coming to stay and one more thing and another. And pottery took a back seat a little bit. So I'm glad to say I'm back and I need to be back. <laughs> so I've got a few little jobs I've got going on at the minute. One is here. I got this little bowl I threw the other day and um, yeah, I was, I was sealing it as one does with my seal like this and I pushed a bit too hard because it wasn't quite giving me the impression that I wanted so I, oh do you believe it I just pushed it and it's pushed out again gosh now then now I've got a challenge haven't I <laughs> yeah just had my finger on it it just just pushed out again wretched thing so that's going to be a bit a bit of a challenge isn't it to 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 fix that but we're up for the challenge yes um that is inconvenient i was hoping just to have repaired that with a, a bit of uh, i was going to show you how to but I won't do that right now now because that's going to get a little bit too involved. But what I was going to do, what I was going to show you, was in a small container like this, just take a, some dry clay. You don't need much. Well, depending on how much you're going to. And then some of this cheap wine vin uh, white vinegar. Just put a bit of white vinegar over the clay, like that, and just let that, just let that soak. You see? Yeah, I'm out here. I'm doing a video. So, yeah. At long last, I'm doing a video. <laughs> so just best just to leave, leave that for the minute. I might just add a bit more clay. But what we'll do is, oh, that's a bummer. I didn't mean to. It was not intentional to push that out like that. It just. I thought I'd fixed it from before. Just I just had a little bit of pressure on it and it popped out. So what I could do though is uh, wait a minute. It's either that or I sling it. I don't like slinging pots once I've worked on them for a while, I sort of... I like to try and save them, you know. And just fingering a bit of this vinegar clay mixture over this here. I'm going to do is I'll, I'll probably have to do this a bit in stages you know it can be quite satisfactory though it can be work better than you think this I didn't think it could possibly work you know putting vinegar and dry clay I could but so I sort of like stuck it back in
something like that. Yeah, I'll sort of come back to this, I think. I'm going to leave that right now just to sort of dry off of it, do its thing. And um, I've got a pot I need to finish. And I'll show you this quickly. This was just a little, uh, little dish I made, um, which I want to make some more of. Basically, it's thrown round and then it's uh, squared off. Um, it can be quite fun, a square. I was thinking, well, I wasn't thinking of that when I made it, but I was thinking, well, butter dish, something to put butter in. I, I get my butter from the Amish, so I get pounds of butter, lovely yellow butter. So I thought, well, that'll look rather nice in there. It doesn't really matter that it doesn't have a lid. It's probably put a bit of that cling wrap stuff over it. Um, thing about this was I threw it and then, because this was actually part of a quick demo I did, and then I added the lugs. What I did was I threw it and then sort of put it out of round and put my blowtorch on it a bit. And then I just rolled out some 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 clay for these lugs and attach them while the, the pot was still wet. So it's a good way of attaching lug, lugs and things. Any appendage that you can attach sort of like wet to wet is going to stick very well. So um, I did that and of course it's, they stick very nicely, no cracking or anything. And that was done, it was all pretty much finished. All I had to do was kind of just thumb it off around the bottom. So that was that, just thought I'd show you that quickly. Uh, yeah, we've had some very strange weather lately. A couple of days ago it was like, no kidding, it was 95 degrees here. Like it, I guess it was in other parts of the country, hot. But for Pennsylvania in June to have 95 degrees is like a little bit unusual. So, yeah, we had 95 degrees, and then I think the next day we had like 75, you know, it's like 20 degree different. Strange weather. Okay, so there's that. Now I've got, uh, I never trimmed this pot. I've been wanting to do this for ages. I've had it, I've kept it under this guy kept it under wraps so i thought right today is the day i'm going to do it are we in the picture are we in the picture there it is yeah so yeah let's just tap center that like that give it some downward pressure Of course it's got the decoration impressed on the outside so we must respect that and be careful not to to preserve it. Let's see how this is going to trim. It's trimming okay isn't it? <laughs> This is actually a, a new tool. Dee, dee, dee. Let's bring the camera in a touch for a bit of detail. We want to see what's going on, don't we? a bit like that. Well, I hope you've been all practicing out there.
Just having a feel here to feel what thickness I've got through the, the foot there. Sometimes with these uh, paddled and expanded pots, sometimes I'm not 100% sh I'm not as sure of myself with the, the, the thickness through the foot and through the side here. Because I sort of leave it thick, you know, before I uh, before I expand it and then depending on how much I expand it you can't I guess it's because I'm not I'm not aware of the thickness through feeling it as I'm throwing it because I'm only pushing it out from the from the inside so it kind of leaves me a little bit unsure sometimes so. Suppose if in doubt, leave it a little thick rather than take it too thin. So I'm breaking the corner there. going to do the foot so just that and now So it's kind of, you want to get it high in the middle here, but the high, high here wants to be lower than, than the, the rim, than the actual foot. Have it high in the middle, but still lower than there. So if you're, you know, if you're not sure, you can just put a straight edge across the top and then you'll soon see So you'll notice it's got a, like a little spiral in the middle there, which kind of happens naturally, but I kind of like it, I suppose. So let's whip the camera off, have a quick look at that, see how it's looking. So, so if you put the straight edge across, he's actually, let's stop the wheel a minute. I think you'll see that he's, He's clearing there. Sometimes it's, you know, you do make a pot and then you, 
it comes out of the kiln and for some reason it seems to be rocking you know off of this central you know it doesn't not it's not sitting flat so sort of getting down sideways having a bit of a look at it here um, I'm going to put it the right way up, I think, have a look at it that way as well. So, how's that looking? So sometimes, you know, when I'm, when I'm doing this, when I'm cutting this, you see that angle there that I've cut? So sometimes I want to change that angle. So I want, to, I want to bring that line that is there that I'm cutting a little higher up the pot, sort of coming out like that. It's coming more like that, you see. So I'm looking at that and it's telling me, for whatever reason, but it is, it's telling me it wants to go up a little bit there. little subtle things that one gets to. So just get this tap center it back in. I just want to take a bit off here. Just there. It'll please my eye a little more if it's and again, don't forget they break the corner there. Don't leave sharp edges on on feet. And that 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 angle that I'm putting on there should be closely associated with the the line of the pot here. It's a sort of continuation, if you see what I mean. But we just take the corner off. So here's a tip when you're trimming, where's the camera, yeah. When you're trimming, you see the angle here is, the angle of the tool is in line with the center. Sometimes you wanna, you wanna change that angle. So instead of having the tool like that, I might change it more like that, you see. Get a very slightly different cut which sometimes can help eradicate, get rid of chatter marks or lines through bits of grog that get caught on the tool, which drag around and leave lines. You'll know what I'm talking about. So let's just have another look at that. Dee, 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 dee. Yeah, so I've, yeah, I've, I've, it's, yeah, this is a, yeah, arguably I could have thrown him a little, a little bigger. Sometimes it's difficult to know, you see, because you're pushing out and pushing out and pushing out from the inside. You get, I don't know if you can see, um, you get sort of, uh, stretch marks here where it's expanded at the, the the most part here you get kind of stretch lines and it it can sometimes if you stretch it too much the whole thing the whole side just just opens out here a fissure occurs and the whole pot just collapses so you have to be aware of that okay put it back on the wheel I'm just going to finish the top, uh, this part here. 
To do that, I'm not going to take a sponge to it, I'm just going to revolve it around, put a bit of water on it, and then kind of it's been face down on the wheel. In a sense, I'm just re I'm re-throwing it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put a wet leather, my, my leather over it, like that. fun to do these expanded forms I think um, it's all about angles isn't it it's all about angles it's all about angles hang on a second let's put the camera down here a minute I'm just gonna put my Put it up there on the banding wheel so we get a better a better sideways profile because I want to yeah there it is okay I think we'll we'll leave it at that yes to come back to this pot with the, the vinegar. Well, thanks for joining us, folks. Yeah, I'm hopefully now I get back into some. We'll need to get back into some pottery work and have a firing as quickly as possible. And uh, yeah, write to me. Tell me what you're doing. Sometimes life gets in the way, doesn't it, when you're it was good to see my old friend Dave from England. We were we were apprentices together in 1973 in uh, at Westland Helicopters in Somerset, England. And um, so he, yeah, we were lodging at 75 Sherborne Road in Yeovil, Somerset, and I was straight out of straight out of English public school or private school really it's not really public it's private but so I've been a like a I've been at a border you know boarding boarding school so this is my first sort of job and um because apparently I didn't want to do pottery <laughs> so my dad said well what about engineering and I said oh I don't know what's that kind of thing because I had no clue I was greener than grass, and the grass is pretty green at the moment, out there, that's for sure. And um, so yeah, so Dave, he, he was really into motorcycles, and a couple a month or so after we moved into the lodging house, he, he got this brand new Triumph Bonneville brand spanky knew it was so he he would take me out for a ride on the back of it that's a pillion passenger and we would uh, we'd ride around the streets of Yeovil At night I remember he would kind of like lean the bike into the corners you know and I was like hanging on the back thinking I don't like this this is like this is it felt like very strange you know going around the corner hanging on as, as the bike leaned over, you know, you sort of get that, whoa, this is like, 
it's kind of exciting. The bike had a sort of real throb to it. And anyway, yeah, I got into thoroughly into motorcycles myself for a period of about five years. And um, I had about 20 motorcycles, BSAs, Triumphs, Nortons, Cafe Racers, all kinds of motorcycles, Japanese, mainly, well, British and Japanese, I suppose. Yes, so, but then uh, sometime in the 70s, Dave and I, we kind of lost contact, you know, we went our separate ways, we were young and irresponsible. So, and then I, I really basically lost touch with him since, until, until about two or three years ago. So, yeah, he's just the same. He's still into bikes. Still, and what's more, he's still... He's still got, would you believe it, he's still got the Triumph Bonneville that he had brand new in 1973. He's still got it. And that's pretty unusual, I would have thought. So, okay, so I've done a repair on that. As you can see, what I'm talking there, I was fiddling around with this. And I've just smoothed it over with this mixture of. Uh, white vinegar and, and dry clay, not water, okay, just vinegar and dry clay. And I just smoothed it over. It's highly likely it might crack. That's why I'm thinking we're gonna, we might have to do it again. But we'll see. Okay, folks, yeah. So, yeah, it was great to see Dave again. He came and stayed for a few days here this last week. And um, you'll be going back to UK in shortly, in a few days, actually. So, so that's yeah. I had him out here in the pottery, actually, on a potter's wheel. I said to him, because Dave, you see, he's an engineer, like I used to be an engineer. I still am, I suppose, in a way. But uh, I said, uh, well, Dave, I said, look, just think of this as engineering. It's just we're using a different material. We used to work, when we were at Westerns, we used to work on lathes. You know, I was a, cat, I was a turret lathe operator and centre lathe operator when I was doing my apprenticeship, you know. And, um, and Dave was, I think he actually was more electrical. He, after he'd done his basic training, he did more electrical stuff. But um, I know there's a lot of uh, you lot out there who are engineers as well. So I know you'd be interested. Yeah, so I had him over there on the shimpo down there. He was actually quite good. He was, he did, he did it actually rather well. I guess it's, it helps, you know, if you have a sort of a logical engineer's mind and you have an idea, especially if you've done some turning before. Anyway, I'm talking too much maybe, but anyway, good to be back with you folks. And we'll get this post, this video uploaded. And we'll get on with some more. Join me for a workshop. I've got spaces coming up in uh, July and August. And then later in all October and November. So join us for a workshop for keep practicing. No substitute for carrying on practicing. <laughs> keep calm and carry on practicing. Take care, folks. Good to be with you. See you soon. Bye-bye.